I'm Philosophical. This is my channel. We're still healing over here. I just woke up from such an awesome nap. I sleep so good. Every time I close my eyes, I go to sleep. I'm so grateful. Oh, I start again. So the movie Eye for an Eye is on, huh? I don't know if that's somebody else's viewpoint of what's going on. What I've done. What I've done. Somebody, somebody, well, they're, they're not going to show up, but somebody can't stand what they've become. What kind of person they've become. All right, eye for an eye, too. I feel like that that's someone's stance. Eye for an eye. It could be yours. It could be this person that's, um, or these people that's working against you. Um, I've actually said that term, so I can't just blame it on the other side, right? So, all right, let's see. Let's see. Tell me what we're, what, I'm just like, kind of like still half asleep, so 111, bear with me. What do we need to know, please? High vibration. Oh, are these backwards? All right, hold on. Tell me more. I feel like somebody is, uh, they don't give a fuck whether they're with you or not. They just want somebody miserable here. They're stressed out. Maybe the eye for an eye thing's not working for whoever's, like, serious about that. I always say, like, there's a masculine energy that's feeling some kind of way. But I feel like, uh, eye for an eye, I feel like that's more of the, the dangerous eye for an eye. It's like, for me, I say, like, eye for an eye, like, like, tit for tat, let's do it if you want to do it, you know? Like, I don't start problems, but I'll finish them if I have to, you know? To a certain extent. All right. Now let's see what else. What else do we need to know? So somebody's in this nine of swords. This could be. Oh, wow. Somebody could be stressed out that something's over. Tell me more. Oh, look at this. I feel like somebody's stressed out because they couldn't do this again. Or they're trying to uh, end uh, a, a divine feminine here. All right, now this could definitely, this could be a mother though. All right, hold on a second. I also picked up that somebody's mother was diagnosed with dementia. Uh, I don't know if this person found out about it yet, but so I'm sorry for who that's for. I don't care if you're a karmic mother or not, two, three, four. I'm sorry about that. Lucifer, the show is on. Yeah, eye for an eye and Lucifer. This is still that toxic person that talk, I, I don't, that toxic being, all right? Light beings only. Honest truth only. Can you show me yes? Can you show me no, please? You hear those sirens in the background? It's today, May 11th, 2022. Thank you. Clear that, please. Is this Empress a divine feminine here? Okay. Is this a mother? All right, so there could be somebody, uh, I don't know if this is you or someone else that you're connected to. Somebody could be stressed out. Somebody's mom could have turned them in or had something. I don't know. This could be many things, but I feel like somebody's not sleeping because they feel betrayed by a mom here. Okay. Uh, let's see what else is going on here. Tell me more about this. Tell me more about this. Why is this why is this here? There's a lot of swords. So um communication, thinking, overthinking. Tell me more about this. Why why are they like this about this mother? Libra or Taurus? Oh. Oh, somebody might find out something about a mom and some life insurance money. I, there may be family members who are freaked out because they feel betrayed by a mother in the family here. This could be a toxic, this could be your family here. This could also be something that had to do with somebody's mother uh, falsifying some documents or something. Um, I feel like there's a family that's fighting with a mom. Why, why are they fighting here? Why, why are they fighting here? Tell me what this arguing is about. A couple? Why? I don't want a Sagittarius at the bottom.
there's some kind of bow down to the gods I just heard. He just said, no shit. All right, so maybe because someone's realizing that you're a god or a goddess or you're, you're a divine couple, that you guys are uh, untouchable. Okay. Oh, okay. Tell me, tell me more about this, please. Tell me more about this. Tell me more about this, please. The offspring is on. Uh-oh. The offspring. Okay. This is the mother that's losing their mind here. This is either a mother, for those of you who have a, a soulmate, and, and so many people are trying to take you down that you're like, you're fucking baffled by it, okay? There's a mom that's losing her mind. Is this really, I mean, I, 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 don't know. I, I shut my comments off just because uh, I didn't feel like being bothered, you know? Your future was so bright. Your neighborhood was so alive. I feel like you guys are just like shocked at how everybody's changing. Now the neighborhood's cracked and torn. Wow. All right. Currently have a life insurance policy on you. This is somebody's mother who was setting their fucking child up to get killed. I'm telling you here, this mom is losing their mind. I feel like your ancestors were that, what were those, uh, was the temperance on the bottom. Somebody's ancestors are haunting this mother. I feel like your ancestors consist of your grandparents too. And I feel like as much as your grandparents don't want to do this, okay, but they have to, they work for you know who, right? Uh, on the up and up, right? And I feel like they are absolutely like disgusted or disappointed. Um, they're haunting this mother. Wow. Tell me more about this. This is fucking disgusting. This, oh my God, no. This mom has blonde hair. Uh -uh. this resonates with me they deserve everything that's coming to them so there's a mom here there's a mom here who had a life insurance policy out on her own child oh my goodness you're just you're also just crazy uh there's something you know i'm, I'm feeling a different kind of energy normally maybe because it's because i took a nap all right I feel like this mom, her uh, her envy and jealousy of either her daughter or her son. I feel like she, she let this get the best of her men. You know, I have to actively remind myself that these are principalities that took over your original mother. Okay. Does it still make me angry? Absolutely. You know, absolutely. Uh... Yeah, this mom knows something's coming here, okay? This mom thought her ships were going to come in. Uh, this mom really thought that this was going to go through, I feel like, here, you know? Uh, something's coming, but it's not what this mother was expecting. I don't think this mother expected for you to stand your ground on your own here. Um, truth. I also feel like this mother is, like, isolating themselves. I don't know where we are. Wow. Tell me more about this. The lumineers. So something was illuminated about this. I feel like uh, I feel like your mother always thought that you were gonna be like needy, and and I don't know if if uh oh, hold on a second. <sighs> I'm getting like nauseous again. I don't know if I had another like level of ascension where I can pick up other people's energy like real heavy that I'm pulling on, but this don't feel good. Calling out your name. So somebody could have been doing incantations or something. I don't know. They could be like yelling or fighting with the rest of the family about you here. Uh, this could be the mother of your person. I The mother of your person here. I don't know. Hold on a second. Tell me more about this. Tell me more about this, please. This is the mom who may have actually had dementia because they're guilty. Oh my God. What was I thinking? Uh-oh. Somebody's like, what was I thinking? Oh boy, voodoo doll. So this is what I'm saying. I feel like you're standing your ground and you're like, 
you're balancing yourself. You could have been a drug addict. You could have been bad with money. And I feel like this mother oh, was probably doing voodoo to keep somebody in this energy of constantly coming back home, uh, constantly needing them because this mom has a fear of being alone. Well, that's tough. It was 10, 10 when I said that it's tough. This, this is the kind of mother I feel like that will talk about God, but then we'll, we'll like wickedly do shit behind the scenes to keep her child needy to her because she probably had failed marriages or she's just a, a miserable and nobody wants to be around her but nobody has the balls to say it so everybody appeases her when they're around her right and it's like when they leave it's like the whole family just right it's like, it's like there's too much family whispering and then us the empaths the ones who are like you know, we speak how we feel. We're always made out to be the enemy, but yet you got a whole slew full, you got a whole family full of people who talk about each other behind their backs when they walk away, you know, and then they, they point fingers at you for being the real one. Wow. Oh my God. I don't like this energy. I'm curious to find out like who, who, who was this on? Who? I, I, you started loving yourself. You started putting love into yourself. You started getting balance in your life mentally, financially. Go ahead as you waste your days with thinking. This mom overthinks. Fail of sinking with the life. Hands are shaking cold. Oh, oh my goodness. I feel like somebody, if this is your energy here, I felt like somebody's hands could be shaking. This could, this dementia shit and losing their mind, because I feel like this is the mom that I just posted about on my community board here. And the reason I know they got diagnosed with dementia is because I had some, um, uh, a video pop up from fucking 10 years ago about what it's like early stages of dementia. <laughs> and I feel like that is to deceive it. This is a very deceptive mother. All right, so we got the Queen of Swords here. I don't know if this is that mother. This could be that Gemini, Libra, Aquarius that we talked about before. But somebody constantly thought, I feel like this is your person's mother, though. I do. They have blonde hair, frosted hair, blonde. Like, it doesn't have to be 100% blonde, but it could just be like there's blonde in it. So I'm moving on just to make it through. So somebody wanted somebody just to constantly make something. Yeah. This is, uh, tell me more about this. Tell me more about this, please. Confidence, yeah. Are you took control of your life and that fucked shit up here. 1313 with the solar plexus. Somebody here took complete control of their life and I feel like this is the first time that you've done it or this person did, all right? This is so heavy, you guys. I'm actually going to leave the comments open. I'm, I'm going to filter them, though, because I'm curious to know what's going on. Lucifer is here for a reason. They're, they're, this mom is demonic. I feel like you started caring about yourself. You started uh, learning how to balance money right. You balanced your, your emotions. So now nobody can say you're crazy. You're not suicidal. You're not an addict. You're not drinking. Whatever this was, and I feel like the voodoo was to, to make... I feel like there's a mom who wanted her child to kill themselves. I'm going to keep it 100. Like I, I'm, I'm like... I'm disgusted. I'm fucking disgusted with this shit, okay? I can't even I can't even hide that. You are getting everything that you deserve, okay? Maybe this is why you or your person, this could be both of your mothers, man. They could have been they could have both been in on this. For some of you, they're both in on this. All right, 1414. But whatever this is, somebody took control of their life. Okay, balance, three, yep, somebody took control of their life and there's moms or a mom or moms, all right, that um, they weren't banking on that. They liked you better when you were down, okay? 
Now, this could also be because of life insurance that you were supposed to get. Somebody got themselves into deeper shit. This is a possibility that this mom took some money that belonged to you that was left by another family member. And in order to cover up, you know, they figure, well, let me do some voodoo and some energy work and get my child to kill themselves. And then on top of it, why not make money on that? Somebody's greed. There's a mom's greed who really got, whether it's greed for money or greed because they wanted their child to always need them. Uh, warped, I just heard. Somebody's warped. Their mind is warped. Solar opposites. Solar opposites, they just said. Somebody solar. It was 1515 when I just said that. Somebody, you guys, you guys took control of your life and you rebelled against whatever this mom said that you were. Challenges authority to affect social change. Reject spiritual systems that do not serve inner needs. So this person, this mom could have wanted, could have been Christian, religious. Hitman film, he just said, I can't. I can't. He's talking about that that movie Hitman. Wow, my guys never ever ever disappoint me, man. Yeah, but you're you're immortal. Mm. Determination to remain young in body. You started taking care of your body. I'm begging, begging you. Somebody thought that you were always going to be an addict, or somebody was going to be an addict, begging, needy. Don't worry, they're always going to come back, you know? I mean, look how many times they've left before and they don't be back kind of shit, right? But not with balls like that, but like a week. When I was king. There's a mom who really likes to have control. You want me dead? Yo. Yo. Tell me more. Tell me more. You walk the line, right? Walk the line. I feel like you guys are walking, whoever this is, they're walking a straight line. They're not fucking up anymore. Because I don't want to lose you. This is a mom that treats her son. This is a son like a fucking husband here. Speak up. So maybe you started speaking up on some shit here. Quick going back to people, places, and things that make you unhappy. I cannot. Hold on, you guys. Hello. Hi. There you go. Thanks. That's the most important part. Yeah, exactly. Thank you. Have a good day. And there's your confirmation, guys. Hold on. I got pizza and a milkshake. <laughs> All right, so let's finish this. That was your confirmation, though. Quick going back to people, places, and things that make you unhappy. Were you sad when you were getting drunk all the time? Yo. Quit that. Do you drink every time you see that friend even though you don't want to drink because it makes you sad? Quit that friend. Does Forever 21 make you feel fat? Tell Forever 21 to fuck off. Does that lover leave you feeling unlovable? Don't go looking for loving from that lover. It may not be easy, but it is simple as fuck. Yo, this mom had control or this is yours or somebody else's mom had control over somebody for a long time and they no longer have control. How are they going to get control? Hmm? Life insurance policy? Wow. I mean, shit. Tell me more. Ace of Wands. Yes, that's my yes card. Oh my god. Like, literally, I, I'm like, I'm not even going to be able to eat right away. I feel nauseous. I keep picking up on these energies of these mothers and these dark ass people. I don't know how they sit in it. I mean, I can just, like, say some shit and it goes away, right? Tell me more. Yep, put your loving hands out. Somebody thought somebody was always going to have their hands out. And now it's like, you go like this and somebody's like, right on, you know, I'm doing great. And they're like pissed. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. The emperor, divine masculine. Yep. This could be your divine masculine's mother. The empress. Oh my gosh. Here's Here this is. Look at this shit. This is counterparts. I told you. Look at this. It's still on the bottom of the deck. Emperor, Empress, this is for counterparts, somebody's mom, yes, they're having a whole new life here, they start, they change their whole life, they change their belief, somebody was a Christian or not, oh boy, all right, I never knew, I'm in over my head, somebody's in over their head. That everyone I knew was waiting on a cue. So it's like, I feel like you guys are like, I'm not living my life for every, 
was the truth. Return and run when all I needed was the truth. So these two here, this Empress and Emperor Divine Counterparts felt like, let's just fucking rely on each other because we don't really feel like people want us together. And that must mean we belong together, right? Like when people want to tear something apart, it's because they're jealous of what they see, right? This mom is in over her fucking head. I told you, with some, I mean, with some of these mothers, you guys are going to make the choice as to whether you want to press charges. I feel like at some point, the state's, I mean, it's, it's, it's out of your hands, okay? Three of Pentacles. Yeah, you guys work well together. I feel like you guys help each other out. This has been coming up a lot. I wish I was a stranger. I could disengage. Uh-oh. This mom could have worked together with some of your ops. Some of the people that have been coming around you and flattening your tires or just gang stalking you could have been connected to this mom. Wait till this fucking masculine finds out or even you, the high priestess. Yeah, somebody's psychic. Somebody's very, somebody, what somebody does for work with the high priestess, they could have worked together with a high priestess here with, with this voodoo. Tell me more about this. Nine of Pentacles, the Tower, Five of Pentacles. Somebody went from the five to the nine here because they worked together with each other to help each other out. There's no cheating. There's no stealing. Uh, there's no fucking lying about money. These two people here, this Emperor and Empress, these two that were destined to be together, they actually help each other out. They don't lie about money. They don't cheat. It's a sapiosexual relationship. I feel like this mother probably tried to send people towards this masculine because this masculine's mom to try to get him. There ain't nobody turning their head from a divine feminine. I can promise you that. Divine feminines have an energy that is mesmerizing. And so do divine masculines once they're in that divine masculine energy there's a mom who tried to tear apart counterparts here and i said this before i don't give a fuck what kind of god you think that you're going to see on sunday the universe is what i roll with the whole universe okay and the universe said if they want two people together because they better the world the universe may be unforgiving right it's not i don't think it's necessarily because it cares that much about these two okay it could just literally be because the universe says, this is my universe. And when I got two people who put this kind of energy out there, which is very rare, you're going to go down trying to tear them apart. It's like a red flags. That's a red flag. <laughs> Let's see. Focus on clearing away debris, physical or mental obstruction. So this mom could have been doing voodoo to keep this masculine having mental illness. I told you that for my dude specifically, it was right in the family. He broke that generational curse of mental illness. And I helped him do that. And I'm the high priestess energy that worked with him. I healed this man. This is personally my story, right? This is going to fucking resonate with other people though. Eventually I healed my dude of, I feel like schizophrenia because that was started popping up, um, popping up on my timeline. Like when we first both just took off and never went back and, uh, is schizophrenia, um, controllable? Is it, is it possible to heal that? Um, and I didn't know, I, I'm telling you, a divine feminine, listen to me, a divine feminine in her highest of vibration can heal anything. She can turn a narcissist into an empath, okay? She can deliver shit out of people. She can make people change. Hey, yokas especially, they make people want to be better people when they're in their high vibration now, okay? Tell me more about this. Look at this. Hmm? Cleaning out any kind of what? Magic, gaslighting, manipulation, Gemini energy. Look at that. Master manifester too. Taurus and, and Gemini here. Tell me about this. Why is these two here? Why is this a magician? Somebody's a master manifester and they're a master healer and they have tremendous strength. This person, this Hierophant energy, this could just be somebody who was ordained to clear out and break this curse with the magician here. Somebody broke a generational curse and helped their other person break a gen. There's two people who broke generational curses together here, okay? Tell me more. 666. Tell me more. Look at this shit. Ooh. Somebody broke some curses, mental illness that was put on somebody through some energy work. I feel like this mother was doing this since this person was young. Wow. 
Yep. Cleared out karma. And whoever is messing with this ordained couple and doing this fucking moon magic and shit here, there's there's balance. There's karmic balance here for these two. All right. Well, I'm going to leave it at that because I'm going to eat my pizza, damn it. All right. I don't know whose mother this is. I kind of do, but I know that there's going to be other people who resonate with this shit. And I'm really sorry because this is a really low down, dirty, toxic mother here. Okay. And uh, I'm guessing that that's why this mother has dementia. Now, I wanted to say on my community board, I don't wish this, but I told you guys when this evil, hateful, jealous, manipulative, vengeful energy comes back to you guys, you're either going to pass away from an illness, you're going to lose your mind and pass away, that there's a mother that's been fucking with voodoo. And you're going to learn today. We're not going anywhere. We really wish that you would have listened to us, though, because we don't like to see people like this. But you guys gave up your vessel to other shit, and we decided not to. We cleared out all that dark energy, and you guys just sit in it. I don't know what to say. I love you guys. Tea out. Bye.